Good day guys, how's it going? This is Jordan. We are back in Skyrim. And I've decided to jump ahead a little bit again. We're checking out Merwatch and I'm already in a fight. Give me just a minute. Oh great, it's Chorus. Oh, I haven't had enough of fighting Chorus. some spiders over here as well. Yes, yeah, so I thought I would jump ahead a little bit again, guys. Uh, so you haven't missed very much at all. I basically just run over here from Markarth. And I just wanted to get this out of the way. I just wanted to check out Mo Watch and do whatever it is that the quest may be here. Okay, now that we've got a bit of peace and quiet, this is my watch. Very nice looking place. And, okay, I have an empty wine bottle. And Sidnar's Sindanar's tower notes. Deep in the swamps of Hjalmarch, where the branches are gnarled and the mist is thick, lies a tower of unknown provenance. Few in the province dare speak the name may I watch. And those that do couch their words with apprehension and fear. Yet the mystery of the tower only piques my interest further, and so I've made it my life's work to discover its secrets. What I can deduce of its past comes from its present. From the cut of the stone to the wards that surround it, every piece is a clue, a signature that can be traced back to a pen and hand. The stone seal that guards the entrance is none other than the Eye of Magnus, a symbol born from the legacy of Shalador. Its burning gaze can be found not just in Merwatch, but outside the College of Winterhold. Could it be the mages here were cast out from the college and set out to carve their own path? This is but a theory, and yet one I feel has merit. Nevertheless, without access to the mind of its occupants, true insight will remain frustratingly out of grasp. Okay. Enhance this journal. When the eye is doused in flames, the hair will light the way. I've heard that fool Sindar say it over and over, breath stinking of ale as if it were a limerick. Given his dark hood, you might think it was a dangerous spell. But so long as no one's hair caught on fire or found imps in their cupboards, the words were harmless. Just the mad ramblings of a drunk. Of the inn patrons, only I bothered to humour him. We bonded over a bottle of honing brew and the bucket with which we had history. So when the elf bit the dust, it was only natural he left his things to me. Among them were countless pieces of junk, including full ownership of the bucket and a spell tome written in some long dead language. But as soon as I started cursing the old fool for willing me his trash, out slipped two items of value, a map and notes to a tower deep in the swamps. It was only after reading it that I realised his drunken words weren't part of any limerick. They were instructions, a way in. Now that I'm here, things are getting even more clear. The hair part still doesn't make a lick of sense, but the eyes, the stone seal, that much I'm sure. Yet nothing I do seems to work. I've doused it in the fire from my torch. I've chopped kindling for hours and built a bonfire high enough to scorch the bloody moon. Still, nothing. Maybe the seal can only be broken with magic. Well, if that drunken fool can learn to cast spells, so can I. I've got the bastard's tome. I just need to make sense of the words. But I better be quick. The fire seems to be attracting all sorts of creatures from the belly of this unholy marsh. Hopefully I can manage to survive long enough to discover whatever treasure lies within. 
Okay, so we throw a flame spell. Got it. Okay, guys, let's do this. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Oh, okay. It's going this way. Oh, okay. In we go. Okay. Some sort of a portal over here. Bookshelves. Nice bed. It's very reminiscent of the Major's College. If that's the quest, I swear to God. What have we got over here? Stall room. Wow. That's Solstein. Is that really the quest? That was it. No, it can't be. Hmm. Unenchanted. So this is the Staff Enchanter. That's very interesting. Okay, so I just own this place now. It said there was a quest. That that wasn't a quest. I mean, it's a lovely place, don't get me wrong, but... Okay, well, I wanted to... I wanted to make me watch the entirety of this video, but, um... I don't think that's going to work. Okay, well... That was it guys, I, I hope you enjoyed that quest. <laughs> um, I'll just put this at the start of, of another adventure. Um, unfortunately I've run out of time to keep playing tonight, so I'll have to come back. Um, I'll come back and we'll find something to do. And I'll add this together with our next adventure. So. It's definitely a, a nice house. I mean, it's got some amazing features, a lot of great storage, a lot of workstations. So, in that sense, it's a, it's a wonderful house. It's just a little disappointing that we did so little to actually take possession. But uh, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to stay here. Um, take care of my inventory, do some potion making, do some enchanting, um, get everything ready and then we'll head off on our next adventure which I'll, I'll try to get something put on, sorry, I'll try to get something recorded tomorrow night and we'll put this together with that. I think what we'll do is we'll head to Morfall and, and, because it's very close by and we'll start to learn about the vampire menace there. I think that's a really interesting quest, that one, so we'll add this onto the X is definitely not worth doing as a video by itself so um, for you guys it will be a very quick transition for me it will be around 24 hours but anyway um, I'll see you when we're ready to take off to Morfall guys 
Hey guys, so um, this is going to be pieced in between the uh, Mirror Watch stuff and the rest of this quest. Uh, I actually lost this part of the request when I was recording before, so I restarted the game with another character and quickly ran here so that I could re record these parts of the quest for you and then I'll put it all together and upload it. So. I hope you like this video guys, it's taken me about three days worth of work to actually put it all together, so here we go. Welcome to Morthal, and the beginning of one of my favorite quests in Skyrim. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Hey, Jorgen. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much you to do. You seem upset about something. The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. What isn't the Jarl dealing with? the house with? that burned down. Peculiar bit of business that was. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. Tales of monsters. Now this wizard in our mist. What's a man to do if he can't look to his jar for help? You don't How can trust I? her? She never speaks with us. She has allowed this wizard, Falcon, to live in our midst practicing gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons? What help could Idgrunt be against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. Mm hmm Okay. Hello, I, Alva. I'm not one for talk. I try to keep to myself. So this quest is one of my absolute favorite quests in this game, and and I wanted to record it very early on in the playthrough for you guys, and then finding out that I lost a lot of this quest, um, through no fault of anybody's but mine, I just stuffed up my recording, um, and I felt driven to actually fix it up because I absolutely love this quest. It's one of my favorite little quests in the whole of Skyrim, and I really want to share it with you guys. So it centers around this little town on the marshes called Morthal, which has a little bit of a problem that will become clearer as we go on, and it all stems from this burned house right here. So if we have a look here, it's basically a burnt house. Nothing too out of the ordinary, so we have to go and speak with Jarl Idgrod and actually be asked to investigate it, so that's what we're going to do right now. By the way, I know there's a known route there. Um, I've already picked it in my main file, so I'm not going to bother picking it now. This isn't for Starkweather. This is uh, Ricky Stardover, uh, another Nord warrior. Um, and we will see very little of Ricky. He's just here to capture these early parts of this quest. So hopefully the Yarl still awake. I think it's quite late in the evening. Let's have a look. She is beautiful. So, life has brought you to Morthal, and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. What happened to that burned down house? Rogart's house? He lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Rogar say Rogar happened? blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself his own wife and child inside. Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. 
Okay. Rogar's fate is in your hands. Okay, now we go back to the house and it will trigger something quite interesting. No lollygagging. No lollygagging. Here we go. Just a normal house, not much going on. Oh, except for that. Hey, Who's Helgi. That? Is that you, father? Who are you? Helgi, my father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? No, I'm a friend. The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore, but I'm lonely. Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing too, and she can't come out until then. The other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Very interesting. Okay, so originally I came over here and I rested in the inn to wait until night time. So I'm going to head to the inn now to sort of sync it up with what I previously recorded. So, uh, actually, let's, um, take off our helmet. Here's Ricky, his handsome face. Um, be prepared to say goodbye to Ricky, guys. He's served his purpose. We're going to go into the inn. And then I'll transfer over and... Four will resume with the quest. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Dragon. Hmm. I saw Helgi's ghost. The poor child is probably begging for us to string up her murdering father. Best tell the Jarl. I've actually told the Jarl about seeing Helgi's ghost. Is it worth it? Um, yeah, let's go see what she says about it. She fancies herself a seer, so maybe she'll have something to say. Okay, yo, what do you have to have say to for wonder, yourself? What does the dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? And let the one be taught? Any skill? I don't freaking know. Hello. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Helgi's ghost asked me to find her. The spirit world is strong in this place. Look to the graveyard. That is where you'll find her. Okay. Hrogar's fate is in your hands. Right. Okay. So the first time I ever did this quest a long, long time ago. I waited. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I waited until night time. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. You think you've got what it takes. Our headquarters is in solitude. I'm trying to talk to my audience, mate. Um, I waited until night time and I just went stumbling around all over the place until I actually found where you find Helgi. So this optional objective of actually speaking to the, Jarl, the Jarl. I'd ask that you speak to me first. Um tells you where to actually find her. I do what I can to see that Idgrud's time uh, isn't wasted, and that she only has to deal with important matters. That's freaking fascinating. I'm glad you followed me out here to tell me that. Um, so let's wait until night time. Oh god, I've got to wait like 12 hours. Okay guys, it's now night time. Now to find the graveyard, you basically just come up to the house. Okay, out the back here. And the graveyard's right over here. And... Oh, there she is. I, was, I thought she might not be here. Come here. They let the vampire. I didn't have my weapon equipped. There we go. Yeah. 
You found me! Laylot was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Laylot was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Laylot thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep for a while now. Poor girl. Mate. She's dead. Laylette is dead. What could you tell me about your wife? Laylette. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laylette. Did you notice anything strange before she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alpha. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. I think they may have met after all. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods! You think Alva is a vampire? It's a possibility we can't ignore. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leilet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. All right, mate, take it easy. Jesus. Anyway, so if we go and investigate Alva's house, um, there's some really interesting stuff going on there. Um. Actually, it's night time. Is Alva at the inn? You can actually find Alva at the inn as well. But since we've triggered this part of the quest, she may be in her house. Let's have a look. There she is. That's Alva over there. I hear you put Leilet out of her misery. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You and I should spend some time together. Now, it's best if you actually wait until daylight. Before going to Alva's house. If you go at night, she flees and she... Um, you have to catch up with her at another location. But, it's more dramatic if we wait until daylight. So let's do that. She should be home by now. So this is Alva's house over here. You have to be a little bit careful here because you have to pick the lock to get in and Helgi's father, Frogar. You can actually speak to Frogar. Um I haven't run across him yet though, but uh, he's probably in the house, he stands over the, he stands guard over the house while Alva's asleep during the day, so we have to be a little bit sneaky here. I won't let you hurt Alva. Okay, he's going for a walk. Not going to attack me. Fair enough. Alva's actually down here. There she is. Yeah. Oh, no. What? Uh. Hey. Uh. Should be able to read her journal. There it is. My life is dreary. I'd like to continue. Yep, that's great. Where is my prince come to rescue me? Where is my bold Nord warrior to sweep me off my feet? 
I met a man today when picking night flowers. He's exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. It was so romantic. I'm going to see him again tonight. Now I understand the true colors of the night. Movarth has shown me the true black of night and the true red of blood. He has promised me a feast of blood if I do his bidding in Morthor. Frogar was easy to seduce. Movarth said I should find a protector first, someone to watch over my coffin during the day. Frogar is perfect. Laylette came to visit me tonight. She slaked my thirst. I've hidden her away to let her rise as my handmaiden. I've spread the rumor in town that she left to join the war. Fools. Movarth has confided his grand plan to me. I am to seduce the guardsmen one at a time and make them my slaves. Then he and the others from the coven can descend upon Morthol and take the entire town. We won't kill them. They will become cattle for our thirst. An endless supply of blood in an entire town to protect us from the cursed sun. Rogar's family is becoming inconvenient. I've told Laylet to kill them all, but make it look like an accident. Rogar must be seen as innocent if he's going to be my protector. That little fool, Laylet burned Rogar's family alive. I asked for an accident and she gave me a scandal. To make matters worse, she tried to turn his little girl Helgi. Except Laylet couldn't even get that right. She killed the child and left the body to burn. Something is wrong with Laylet. She keeps talking about Helgi. I think her mind has snapped. She seems to think that the child can still be brought back to be her companion. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there is a stranger in town looking into the fire. I'll have to be careful. So we take this evidence that the vampires were looking to turn this town into a nest and turn all the guardsmen in town into thralls to actually protect them while they sleep. Now we're going to turn the whole town into a vampire nest. So let's go show this to the Jarl. Now this is Rogar up here. This is Helgi's father. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. It doesn't seem too cut up about the loss of Alva. So let's report to the Jarl, and then we can go and try and find Movarth and his coven of vampires. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? Huh, didn't think she had it in her. Actually, she's a vampire. She planned to enslave the town. I assume you have proof? Can't go making accusations like that without proof. I have Alva's journal. So it's true, the traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here, you were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. Take the mill is my responsibility. And that's what I care about. That's all. Understand? Until next time. Yeah! I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. Kill him. Fair enough. Right. Are they coming or are they all just... Yep, there they come. So we head over to the cave over here. And that is the nest of the vampires. Over Slayer. I'm just a poor man trying to make a living. I'd leave Mortal were it in my power. I have to go into the vampire's lair alone? They may be cowards, but I'm not. I'll go with you. You wait here. I suppose you're right. I'm not a fighting man. 
go <laughs> and avenge my Laylet for me. Mm -hmm. I love how quickly he turned around on that. I'll go, I'm not a coward. Okay, yes, I'll stay here. I'm not a fighting man. Oh, come on, I was trying to pick my mushrooms. Okay, so we'll finish this quest off, guys, and then this with Murwatch. As little content as there was surrounding Murwatch, um, should be a pretty good video. I really, really like this quest. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. It's a really interesting quest. Axe. Had trouble taking my axe out to fight then. Okay, there's a lot of thralls in here and actually a few vampires as well. Hello. Jesus Christ! I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure why, but the way that guy came running up, I thought it was Lydia, even though it clearly was not Lydia. He just came running up at me, and I just watched him. Okay, so that's the guy who's usually digging this grave for all these bodies. Now if you read, there is a book here in Skyrim called Immortal Blood and it has an interview with a vampire <laughs> called Movath who is actually this vampire right Over here, here. Movath Master vampires obviously have much stronger drain life spells. Apparently there's a thrall up here. I'm a disgrace to my own kind. I thought he was kinda of just hiding behind the corner there. That's your best? This is the book here, Mortal Blood. So if you, I believe I've already had this in one of my videos, but if you read this book, it's Movarth telling his story to the author. It's interesting that you actually meet the character. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check if I've been infected. I haven't. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, and there's plenty of copies of the book, obviously. Movarth's got a little bit of an ego. Okay, there's more enemies over here. There's a couple more vampires as well before we're finished in this place. Head over 
over here where there's a couple more vampires and if you if you go to Alva's house during the night and she flees you actually track her down into this cave you can kill her here but I like it where it's more like one of the old vampire movies where you find her in her lair and she wakes up you know it's much more dramatic and exciting I think Ooh, mamma mia. That looked like it hurt, did it? If you look over here, um, I don't know if this is Movarth's collection or one of the vampires here's collection. Oh, it is Movarth's, okay. Oh, here we go, guys. Read this one. Um, yeah, he collects shoes. If we look here, there's a lot of different kinds. I always take the storm cloak officer's boots. Now, Movarth's shoes are actually really good. Um, they're shitty in terms of armor, but they have 15% sneaking improvement. Which, if you're playing as a sneaky, sneaky build, uh, you can come here early game and have a decent buff to your sneaking with those boots. And that's that. We've cleaned out the vampires. So let's head out. I'm not going to bother taking the iron. Uh, actually, I will. I'll cut it out so you guys don't have to watch it, though. Oh, wait, that's not right. Yes, it is. What was I doing? Anyway, we got there in the end. That's all that matters. There she is. There's Helgi. Mother's calling me. It's time for me to sleep now. I'm so tired. Thank you for making her feel better. I've avenged you and your mother. Okay, see ya. And back to Morfall we go. My brave band of warriors has left without me. <laughs> I couldn't even stay out here and wait for me. Quite a crew they assembled for me. Let's go talk to Yarl Idgrod. I think in our next episode, we'll go do the bounty on the Elder's Blood Peak Dragon, because that's just up over that way. And there's the dragon right there. Is he going to come down or is he just circling his mountain? I think he's just circling his mountain. Tamriel is full of wisdom and magic, if one is willing to look for it. Few have their eyes open. The master vampire Movarth is dead. By the eight, I didn't think he could do it. Now maybe we can put all this behind us. Maybe. Take this as a token of our gratitude. Thank you. Anything else you need, my all? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my home. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. Sure. Good luck. Thank you. Until next time. Okay, guys. I think that's enough for today I, I hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like if you like to help support my channel then subscribe um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed that's the main thing I hope you enjoyed the video because I, I had a lot of fun with this one um, next episode we're going to go and not like anyone else not in Morthal or Skyrim yeah bugger off kid um, we're going to kill that dragon right there. So anyway, I'll catch you then, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.